Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Let's take a look at how we can app smash two apps to create a little digital board game. Now I'm gonna to create today, let's jump into drawing pad. I'm gonna to create today a little kind of snakes and ladders style theme game, but you can open it up to your young students. They can come up um, with amazing little games. And what we're going to do here is we'll just create um, the actual board and we'll do that in drawing pad. So I'm gonna do something really quickly here. Uh, just grab, uh, let's go with a, kind of a space theme. I might even whack in a few stamps here. I could actually throw in a few, I, I could actually draw some different things as well there. Uh, let's be a little bit creative and put some uh, alien bees in there and some scorpions on the ground and so forth. Make them a little bit smaller. Uh, we'll also bring in, why don't we bring in some spaceships and so forth. And then we might bring in a big spaceship tilted on the side. So that can be like a little ladder that actually goes up on a certain section. Um, and so we can actually put quite a bit of detail into that. And what we're gonna do here is just go back to our menu page. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, press this one on a, just here and we'll actually save that as a picture. So that's been saved to our camera roll. And what we'll now do is jump in to explain everything. Here we, uh, here we go here. Uh, we'll create a new template and we'll bring in that picture that we've just created from our photos. It should be in our gallery. There it is there. We'll just press done. And what we're going to do there is we're going to press that image once, press the I, press that image once, and we're going to actually set that as our background. So now actually if we press on up here, it's not going to move. Okay, so it's looking really, really good. And then all I'm going to do now is actually bring in a little grid that I found. So I've actually found this little grid. I'm going to enlarge that a little bit. I won't do that yet. I'll just bring that in. I'm going to enlarge that so that the dots are a little bit bigger. And all of a sudden we've got this beautiful kind of, well, not so much beautiful, but actually we've got kind of like a snakes and ladders with the grid. Now I could probably find a better grid than that. It's actually probably a little bit too dark, but I'll just show you what we do here. So we're going to press the I. We're going to lock that. And then we're just going to bring in one of our characters now. Um, you can bring in some different, find some different PNG files and go through some different things. I'm just going to use one of our little free characters from uh, iPad Monthly, which is our little uh, scientists, if I can find them. Where's my little scientists? They've got to be here somewhere. Go along. Oh, they're coming up. I might use just one of these um, superheroes. That could be quite good. Uh, you can see there that's not a PNG file, so I'll just go and find the correct one there. Just bear with me here for a minute. Uh, let's go to, no, I won't grab him. Oh, I'll just grab our little scientist down here. And what we can do is just bring her in and she can be one of our characters that actually moves along. And when she gets to a certain um, shape, she could actually go up to there and it could be like a little snakes and ladders game. So what I could actually do is go back to my drawing pad if I wanted to be really um, particular about it and I can create some start and stop type images. I might actually go to my stickers here and create a little kind of start and stop. Uh, so I might be able to find here that actually says, okay, this is going to be my little finishing line up here. And I can actually put some more detail into my board game design if I wanted to. But at the end of it, we've just basically got hopefully some different ideas for board games that your students can actually play with each other. Instead of getting an app and actually playing an app that someone else has built and designed, our kids can create little digital board games um, really, really easily. Uh, you could bring in some videos here. You can make it a bit of a mystery game. You could have a video that when they land on the video, they have to play it and actually work out some clues. Um, look, the sky's the limit in regard to imagination, but I think this is just a really great way of getting our little ones creating digital content and actually having some fun with it as well. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.